You know what we're doing? You know about Grantel Castle? You know about Ouroboros? Don't tell me you're just some wandering priest! Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we found Ren. Ren also gave us a letter from Joshua, so we've got to go to um, Garoon Gate above the Onenberg Wall. You'll notice it's just as Stella in our party. Um, which I guess is just as well. I get the distinct feeling. This actually doesn't happen very often, where it's we've got just the one. Oh, right, and they cleared out the path of monsters. Eh, Estelle can handle all these jokers on her own, so I wouldn't be worried. All right, but Joshua, though? Dude, I don't know. I feel like something, I don't think it's, I don't think it's Joshua. Hmm. It's just, the letter didn't seem like him. My dearest Estelle? It's evening already? Crap! Okay, calm down. Above the Onenberg, in other words, on top of the wall. I've gotta hurry. Yeah, they can't just have Joshua waltzing around. Welcome to the Garoon Gate. You seem awfully worked up. Everything all right? If you're here to have a look around, you can stay for a bit longer. Cool. Up. Oh, I want to talk to that other guy too really quickly. We've got a meeting later, so the commander told us to assemble. It's got to be about that. That incident that happened in Bose. I wonder if that was the thing? Well, probably. That is all. Please hurry organizing the forces to patrol the scenic route. Understood. I'll dispatch immediately. But we've got to head to the very top. Okay, nope. Don't need to rest just yet, but is there a shop? I think? Yep. Ambrosial egg, shellful dish. Turn in tempura, and anarchy soup. Dude, collecting these recipes is one of the parts that I like best about these games, dude. Mm, but now we can head up. Did we ever? Okay, clearly they didn't mean this state. Oh! Huh? Wow! I... I thought we'd have to go further up, but I guess not. Father Kevin. Uh, cause that silhouette was kind of spiky. <gasps> Curse that Philip and his incessant scolding. Who does she think I am? I'm, I'm Dunan von Ajlis. I'm the rightful heir to this country. <gasps> Ugh. Think I drank too much beer. That. Curry stuff was quite tasty, though. I suppose lowering, uh... My... <laughs> myself to the level of the peasants can be enjoyable sometimes. <laughs> peasants. Those brats. Claudia. And that bracer girl. Why? How could little girls like them... Why'd they confuse me so with their words and their... Your suffering is great indeed, Your Highness. This is probably Canone. Yep. Striking while the iron's hot. Huh? You're Richard's... Captain Canone Amaltea, Your Highness. It is good to see you well. Though, I suspect I may have caught you at a bad time. What do you want with me? You're a wanted woman, you know. Oh, well, hey. Ugh! Don't be so tense, your highness. You might get hurt. I simply need your help. That's all. If you would come with me... Joshua! Father Kevin, that my dearest stuff was weird, huh? What? Estelle, that you? Kevin? What 
why are you here? If Ren lied about meeting Joshua, that'd actually be kind of messed up. He isn't here. Well, hey, been a while, hasn't it? How's this for chances? You don't think there might be a destiny thing between us, do- Kevin, listen! Did you meet anyone else on your way here? Uh, someone else? Wait, you're here to meet someone too? Yeah, Josh- Uh, hold on, you too? Oh, I get it. Joshua must have given them both things thinking or uh, pretending they were someone else. Yeah, I got called out here by a letter. There was, we did run, um, walk or uh, go past the, the church. And one of the sisters there did say that Father Kevin had a package for him. Really? Me too. <laughs> what a crazy coincidence. <sighs> I know, right? Or not. No way this is just a coincidence. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So then Joshua called you out here too. Huh. Uh, Joshua? Ain't that that boyfriend you were talking about? Um... Oh, um, I had no idea. Didn't think Joshua would be quite that, uh, well-seasoned. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong. Love can fill in any uh, gap in age. You'd think that'd mean I'd have a shot, though. <sighs> so, Father Kevin likes someone who's uh, quite a bit older than he is? Huh. I'm trying to think of who he could even be referring to. Oh well. Um, I kinda get the sense we're having two different conversations here. You said you got called here by a letter from someone. Who? Yeah, a letter delivered addressed to me at Grantsville Cathedral. Ha, so that was it! The man who delivered it was a fairly handsome middle-aged guy. But Joshua's the same age I am! Why would you ever think he's some old dude? Really? Uh, <laughs> of course! I was, uh, wondering what was up with that. That's my line! But then, what the heck is going on? Wait, this is... A trap? Huh? Alright. What? I was afraid of that. Okay. Oh man. So much for coincidences. Here they come! Okay. Port Seekers preparing to use arts. Um. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I sells up first. Craft. We want to hard break. I don't know what this thing is about to do, but we definitely don't want to let it do it. Unknown machines that attacked out of nowhere can repair allies. Oh no, you don't. Okay. Craft. Chain 2. Cross gear rage. Combo attack with a concealed blade and arrows. Sacrifice arrows. Sacrifice his own CP to raise the CP of others by 40. Wow! That's cool! Sacred Breath. A prayer for Sucker. Heals all allies in range for 2500 HP. And Grail Sphere. Prayer and Proffered Grail Block 1 attack. 2 with full CP. Huh. So that gives us, um, Earth Wall. Or two Earth Walls if it's a 200. Mm. It looks like these things aren't especially weak to anything else. We'll. Hmm. Okay. He can't lot here or anything. So let's cure up a. Here, but then Estelle's gonna take will make use of that strength up. Yeah, she'll be able to heal herself a little bit with this. Wow! I wasn't expecting it to kill it outright. So we're probably we're probably playing it a little too safely then. Court Seeker is prepping arts, dark matter. Eh, it's a single target. Yeah, we're fine. Kevin will Tira Estelle again, though. 
Just to make sure we don't have any danger of anybody dying. Though, if they make us fight another fight after this, I'm gonna probably regret using our CP up so quickly. Um, dang, this thing is gonna heal, so let's... Mm, let's get a, a Shadow Spear going. Yeah. No HP heal for you, dude. Port Seeker. These things don't seem to be Archaisms, though. 715. Okay, so what is Arts that we want to use against these? Because that physical attack was not alert mode initiated. Does that mean I probably shouldn't try attacking with Estelle again? Shadow Spear. Now it's prepping Arts? I don't know what that... Okay. Well, we're not going to have to worry about it because we're about to kill this thing outright. Unless that... Uh, alert signal initiated means something pertaining to this. Nope, we're good. We're good to go. Hey, he's level 55? Is that the level they expected us to be at around this pen oh, point? These are... <sighs> what? What is that? Oh, uh, let's just ignore them bobbing in the corner. What the heck was that? And those things! They were less like monsters and more like... Yeah, they were kind of like the archaisms in Gransel Castle's sealed ruins. Puppet weapons of some sort. Huh. They struck me as more robots, but I guess archaisms work. Trick is, they looked like they were built recently. That's why they struck me as robots, I guess. What do you mean? Well, archaisms are ancient, and you can tell by the wear, right? But looking at them, the way the ornaments were made, those things were modern. They're just about as good as the ones from down below, too. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Wait a second. How do you know about what's beneath Gransel Castle? <laughs> hey, who goes there? Yeah, I guess we're not really supposed to be here. Uh, a soldier! thought I heard something. You two, what are you doing here? Wait a moment, please! We were just attacked by strange machines! Strange what? Sorry to have caused such a disturbance, sir. Actually, the little lady here is a member of the Bracer Guild, you see. We're in the middle of investigating something. Uh, just play along, Estelle. A Bracer? Really? Estelle, make with the notebook and badge, why don't you? Let the uh, nice man know he doesn't need to shoot us in the face. Oh, uh, sure. Estelle showed Warrant Officer Graves her notebook and badge. Hmm. They look real, at least. So what's this something you're investigating? A terrorist group who calls themselves the Society of Ouroboros. Huh. He was surprisingly forthcoming about that. But was this also something we knew Father Kevin knew? Huh. They've been conducting experiments and causing trouble all over the country recently. We were pursuing a lead on them when we got attacked by these machines. <sighs> Wait, come to think of it, HQ did tell us to keep an ear open for things relating to a society. So are those guys out on the roads also with this group then? Wait, hold on! Someone showed up on the roads? What do you mean? We just got word from the squad guarding the Irby Royal Villa. They were attacked by an armed group. Okay, here it is. What? Good news is, Lieutenant Colonel Sid and company managed to send them packing with no trouble. At that, at the moment, they've got the roads closed and they're hunting the attackers. Oh, great. Things really are getting serious. We should probably book it back to the guild house then. Uh, but... Yeah, those guys might be the same ones you're after. Alright, we'll keep an eye on this area. You two get back to the Capitol Guildhouse. Go on. Thanks, sir. Come on, Estelle. Let's get back. Wait, uh, hold on, uh... He's not trying to really explain anything while in front of them. Dang. Joshua and... Oh! It must have been... The person that delivered his package might have been the oldest Kapua sibling. 
Now, just a damn second, Kevin, if that's even your name. You can't weasel your way out of this. <laughs> Guess you won't just let it slide, huh? Cheeky winks aren't helping your case, Buster. Look, who in the hell are you? You know what we're doing? You know about Granto Castle? You know about Ouroboros? Don't tell me you're just some wandering priest. I promise I've never lied to you. I am a full priest of the church. Though, it's true that I'm not... just a priest, you could say. Yeah, that's super reassuring and not sinister at all. I'll explain everything later, and I do mean everything. I was serious when I said we should get back to the guild house, though. I have a feeling some serious stuff is going down. Huh? Serious stuff? Ugh, now I'm totally confused. Why? I was going to see Joshua again. Why did all this? Mm, about that. That letter from your boyfriend. You're sure it's from him? Huh? Yeah, from what the girl who gave me the letter said, I can't imagine it's anyone else. But this girl doesn't actually know your Joshua by sight, right? In that case, it'd be easy enough to get someone who looks close enough. But even the handwriting is like Joshua's. It's easier to spoof handwriting than you'd think, especially if you know how a person writes. It's definitely easy enough to fool someone who... Uh, already wants to believe. Here's the letter I got at the cathedral for the record. Kevin produced an envelope from his pocket. What? Thought so. We both got the same envelope. The letter I got promised me a juicy lead on what I've been investigating. So both letters were done by the same group? But who? Why? No idea. Maybe the society? Maybe someone else? All I can say is, they got us both hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> don't... with me. Uh? I don't know who these jerks are, but they don't get to screw with me! Pretending to be Joshua, and trying to lure me to my death? I won't, th uh, won't let them get away with this. You hear me? I am beating your faces in, you jerks! Ugh, my ears. Calm down, Estelle. Getting worked up and losing our focus is exactly what the people behind this want to hap uh, have happen. Let's head back and go over what we know, okay? Yeah, okay. Though, Kevin, just to be clear, I still don't trust you. If you, like, do a big dramatic reveal as an Ouroboros agent or something, I will brain you. Got it? <laughs> Don't worry. Heck, I'd love to get hit by you. I'm always willing to sacrifice my body for the woman I love. What are you... Uh... <laughs> what? That was quick, wasn't it? Oh, come on. Stop trying to distract me from burn uh, my burning distrust here. It's what I do best. So, like I said, back to the guild house. Let's go. Dude, Kevin's awesome. Um. Oh, he's already wearing that. But we do have some male-only equipment he can use. Um, Edel Garters. Prevents death blows, prevents faint, prevents poison. Um, this just ups his move by two. We can take that long barrel, unless she's necessary, you can take that long barrel off of, um, off of, uh, Tita. She's not gonna need it. Oh, hold on, his orb mint. Ah, okay. So this is a, is it a space quartz only, or time quartz only, rather? Let's give him action two. Yeah, straight up upgrade. Um, he's already got EP2, HP2, Mine 2. We've got a Defense 3, don't we? No, not available. Okay, looks like his Quartz is set up for some really powerful arts. So that's good. Um, let's get this guy in EP Cut 1. And then maybe a Cast 1. Do we have anything? Okay, an Evade 1 would give him... Nah, we don't want to drop that. What 
about this defense, too? He's not getting super a lot out of it. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a freeze? Tyrell and Lacuria. Mm. Let's... Let's leave him as is for now. Until we've had a chance to gut Tita's uh, Orbment. And we'll probably be able to make it back without incident, so one second, guys. It suddenly became nighttime. Hmm. There's probably everyone's probably waiting for us at the guild house. They should be. Ren, though, we're gonna have to grill Ren about who about a more specific description of the person who gave her that letter. Man, sun's down already. I hope things are okay at the villa. Well, they might have contacted the guild. Come on, let's go check in. Right. Um, Kevin? Sorry about some of the things I said back there. I was kinda out of it. Hey, it's cool. You are a bit messed up because you were thinking of your boyfriend. I get it. I'm not worried about it, so relax. Thanks. But, I'm sorry, I still can't fully trust you. Kazang, can't win, can I? Well, I should be able to convince you that I'm not an Ouroboros death merchant or whatever at your guild house. You see... Miss Estelle! Uh, or that's Philip. Huh? Philip? Oh, right, because What's-His-Face did get kidnapped. Uh, hello, pardon me for imposing upon you. But, Miss Estelle, I must ask... Have you seen the Duke? Duke Dunon? Uh, we met him this morning. Has something happened? I would like to know. He left at around noon and has yet to return or even contact us. I've searched all the places His Highness might have gone, but... Oh, Fur, what's he doing? We're busy enough as it is! You know what? Philip, come with us. We're going back to the guild house. If the Duke's in trouble, someone might have contacted the guild. That is true. Allow me to accompany you then. And... Who are you, sir? Kevin Graham, traveling priest of the Septian Church. A pleasure, sir. How very polite. I'm the butler to Duke Dunon von Osleys, Philip. Come on, we can do big introductions later. Let's get back to the guild house. Wow, this is quite the party we ended up with. Left on our own, came back with a bunch of different people. Right. Elnon, I'm back. Oh, that's never good. Uh, Elnon! What? Damn it. This must have been their next move. Right, if they take out Elnon, then they can't contact people for help. Elnon! Elnon, say something! Calm down, Estelle. He's breathing normally. And peacefully. Looks like he's in a deep sleep. I take it this is the Gransel Guild Receptionist? Yeah. Oh, oh no! Everyone! Are they upstairs? Oh, no! Shara! Olivier Zine! Wow. Tina! Chloe! They got everybody. Damn, they got everyone? 
Are they all okay? Looks like it. They're all just asleep. What the hell happened? If I must hazard a guess, Miss Estelle, they were put to sleep with drugs. You know who I bet has something to do with this? They all look as though sleep took them very suddenly. Yeah, good point, right. Chloe's got her forehead rubbing against the bookshelf after all. Hey, good catch. Yeah. Wait, what's this? A letter? Oh, another letter? Hold on a second. That's the same kind of envelope we got. It is! Estelle ripped open the envelope and read the letter. I've taken the Duke and the girl. If you want them back, come attend our little tea party. So Canone was behind it. What? His Highness! So the tea party is in the capital after all. Thought so. Who's this girl they're talking about, Estelle? Girl? No! Oh, I thought Ren was the one who put everybody to sleep. Ren? Ren, where are you? She's not here, dude. I don't know. Ren may still have been complicit in all this. Kidnapped, I'm guessing. Another member of your team? No, she's just a kid we were taking care of. I can't believe we got her involved in this. Estelle. Miss Estelle. Philip, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure Dunan's been taken as well. You need not apologize. If it's true, it is his responsibility for going off to play about on his own. Do not blame yourself for his failings, Miss Estelle. He's right, Estelle. First, we need to figure out what the tea party in the letter is. Right. I've taken the Duke and the girl. If you want them back, come attend our little tea party. I kind of remember Elnon saying something about a tea party in relation to the intelligence guys. Wait, Kevin, when I read the letter, you said it's in the capital after all. Oh, I... You heard that, did you? Wait, Kevin's asking us, but he already knows the answer? Yeah, about that. Think I can help you out there, Kevin. Oh! Hey, nice timing! Huh? Uh, Agate? Hey, Estelle. Looks like things got kinda crazy around here. Guess neither of us got here in time, Kevin. Damn it. Yeah, nobody's hurt, thank Adios, but I got no excuse. Agate, why are you here? And what are you talking about? How do you two know each other? Think Elnon might have filled you in on what we found in Bose, the intelligence goon's base? We met this guy there. Oh, right. He helped us track down where those thugs had run off to. Oh, I see. That's why he's so up to speed, then. <laughs> Bingo. I get Annalise! Estelle, yeah, you're safe! And hey, Kevin's here too! Yeah, afraid I didn't make it in time though. How's the phone downstairs? No good. Someone removed some crucial bits, so it's totally useless. Damn. Wonder if they Is there another one? There is another one up here! Huh. Ugh, same with this one. Man, I've got no, like, I'm fairly certain they're about to become the latter half of our party. But, man, we were with, Shara was our, um, was our mainstay party member for far longer than I thought she would. Uh, she thought she would be, rather, so, wow. So, the enemy broke them? Yeah, no question. Just wish I understood what the hell it is they're trying to do. Oh, Agate, they left this letter. Estelle showed Agate the letter and explained the situation. A tea party, huh? Now I'm starting to get it. It's those intelligence bastards who kidnapped the Duke and that girl. And it's goddamn Ouroboros behind it all. Yeah, we got attacked by some weird machines. But what does attend our tea party mean? Where are we even supposed to be? 
could be anywhere. We'll have to search the whole city. Annalise, got a favor to ask you. Sure, what's up? Need you to get over to the Irby Royal Villa and get in touch with the patrol HQ there. The guys on the roads are just a distraction. The city's where things are gonna go down. Oh yeah! Their goal is nothing less than dominance of the capital, I bet. Uh, understood! I'll run until my legs fall off! Annalise, be careful, okay? I will. You too, Estelle. Okay, so it might just be Agate. Philip, right? You mind staying here at the Guildhouse? Don't worry, we'll get your Duke back. Very well. I will tend to your friends while I am here. Please, recover his highness. Alright, oh! Meanwhile... Squads 1 and 2 are moving along the western scenic route. They should have the enemy surrounded shortly. In the Eastern Division, several Intelligence Division units are fleeing to beyond Romal Pond. Squads 3 and 4 are in pursuit. Good work. Proceed until both groups are neutralized. Sir! Sir! Alright. I must admit, sir, I don't understand their thinking. Do you think this could be a diversion? I have a full company stationed at Gransel Castle. Even if they box us in here, they won't shut us down completely. Unless... Does Amaltheia have some ace up her sleeve we don't know about? An ace? Excuse me, sir! What is it, soldier? We've received word from headquarters. However, when we attempted to contact the capital branch of the Bracer Guild, the phones returned a disconnection signal. We could not raise them by any means. What? Orders, sir? Hmm. I think it's best I call in a little extra insurance. Bell, you're in charge. I'll be in the transmitter room for a moment. Yes, sir. May I ask who you are contacting? Cassius? A certain someone at Layston. Yep, Cassius. He's the Joker you want on your side when things go hairy. So where the heck could this tea party be? The obvious answer would be Gransel Castle. But, I don't know. It's got a lot of guards and it's well, for uh, where well fortified. I think they're gonna start elsewhere this time, so let's look around. Problem is though, this town is a huge, crowded place. We can't just go groping around in the dark. It'd be lucky to stumble on a single black helmet. Oh, Sieg! Ah! Hey! Always helpful! Man, Sieg! What? What the heck? Yeah, here we go! Uh? Uh? Uh, I don't really understand, but... You want to show us the way to something? Er? Uh, okay, so it's that away. Towards the west block? Okay. Maybe the barrel coffee house. Toward the west block, huh? Let's go! Okay. You guys are, uh, kind of amazing. Just stick with us, Kevin. You'll, you'll, you'll get it. Um, okay, so we definitely want to upgrade his stuff, or at least give him something he can use. He doesn't really need EP2. Yeah, an HP2 will be really good for him. And then, Tira, I guess if we, well, pink healing, probably not. Kyria, range 1, EP1, EP2, hit 1. Dang, dude, how am I supposed to- wait, I wonder. What? How the heck are you supposed to- I- because I've been wondering for a while now how you're supposed to be able to see the new quartz that you get. Like, it's, it's on a thing, like, you can move it up and down, but... A, a scroll bar, like, you can move it up and down, but apparently there's no way to do that. Oh, let's upgrade some of them. Um, 
He'll be able to use Septium Vein if we upgrade his stuff. Let's do that really quickly. Uh, Grand Soul Bracer Guild. Everybody's knocked out. Wait, where's the thing about? There it is. I'm on the complete wrong side. And Kevin, too. Father Kevin, also. Upgrade exchange. Wait, can we get any really good quartz? A defense three. Oh, we can definitely afford those. He's already got an attack three. Mine three. Dang, dude. And EP cut three, we still can't afford. Confused. Okay, let's just worry about slots. Let's, um, maybe two slots for both of them. Definitely want to use uh, their main, uh, get their main slot upgraded. And then just two of the cheapest ones, I guess. Eh, screw it. And then one for you. Okay, definitely do that one okay so they'll both be fine this way and now we can give him the septium vein or rather i guess we should put septium vein on oh huh oh right he probably he has to use a fire okay that's fine tira that'll teach him tira so that's good Should be fine. All right, but we're gonna follow. Um, we're gonna follow Sieg into the West Block. Find out what's going on. That's all gonna be next time, though. So definitely join me then for more Trails in the Sky second chapter. Bye for now, guys.